Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, we like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a super simple mob farm. The other day, I showed you how to make a very simple creeper farm, and basically, this farm is a version of that farm, although there are slight changes to make this work for every single mob. That being said, let me show you you exactly what you're gonna need. So to start off, I would advise bringing yourself a shovel and a pickaxe. This is gonna come in handy like a lot, a lot, a lot. Then you're simply gonna need the following. Bring yourself four rails, four magma blocks, two chests to make a double chest, one hopper, two minecart with hoppers, and a double bucket of water. This will make you a source block of water. In addition to this, you are gonna need 256 coral fans that's right you are going to need 256 coral fans now you don't actually have to use coral fans you could use trap doors but if you was going to use coral fans i wanted to know a really simple way to get them all you've got to do is go to a tropical slash warm ocean biome the ones where the coral reef is if you go two blocks below the surface of the water and make yourself a little area like this then bone meal the center of that area and simply silk touch the coral after now all i did was do that for a little while although i'll probably make a better farm at some point but like i said you could actually use trapdoors as well the first step you're going to want to dig a two deep 33 long and 18 wide room that would be your first step after you've dug that room, you can then start making your platforms. We are still going to go for 2x2 two two platforms, but instead this time we are going for 2x2 two two draining systems. On the creeper farm, we simply had a one block draining system, but on this one, we're going to have 2x2. Two two. That's why it is one block extra wide each side. Number of platforms, you're going to have nine platforms in total, and these platforms are eight long, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The reason they are eight long is because if we place a bucket of water here, the water will run all the way to here and stop at this point. As I said, these are eight long, two wide, and in total, there are nine, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and obviously you're going to want to go two down so that's two deep in between each gap and of course you can do that to both sides and at that point you will be at this stage the exact same stage as i am at the reason i've done that first is because it does take a little bit of time and i wanted to save a bunch of time for the video next we're simply going to grab our coral fans again it doesn't matter what color fans you've got simply make sure you've got 256 i think i've got 256 i mean we're about to find out so if you hadn't guessed already we're simply going to want to place each fan along the side like this and then on this side like this as well simply do that to every single side of this farm or should i say every single platform the reason i'm using fans this time as well instead of trap doors is because i actually noticed it in the comments someone said you should use fans instead of trap doors it might work a little bit better so i'm just testing it out although the trap doors does actually work as i said at the beginning you can actually use whatever you want Epic. That is that step complete. As you can see, we have covered the top row or block in fans. Every single one has been covered in fans, as you can see. When a mob spawns, they will literally think that these fans are like normal blocks and simply walk into our water streams, which is exactly what we are going to do now. First things first, you're going to want to make yourself an infinite water source. Now, I'm going to do this inside the farm, just here. I may have to move this soon, but this is just going to be for speed. And also for speed, the more buckets you have at this point, the faster this process will be. So, I'm actually going to make myself a bunch more buckets. I mean, I probably don't need to. I've probably got buckets somewhere. I'm just going to offload my tools as well, so I can obviously carry that stuff. And now we're simply going to fill up all of those buckets. Water acquired. Now I'm going to go to the end and work my way down. So basically, I'm going to go to this dark corner, place a bucket of water, place a bucket of water just there, and that will go to this end. I'm going to do that to this one just to show you again. 
bucket of water there and a bucket of water there. Now I'm going to want to do that to every single one. You want to be really careful and don't do what I've just done because you will end up losing some coral fans, which is, you know, kind of annoying. So yeah, be very careful when placing down your water. You could even do it first if you really wanted to. And once you've placed in your water, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. All of your water should meet up. And of course, if it doesn't, it means you've missed one out. I've just found one here, which I've uh, missed out. So now this should link up like so. And I'm just going to check all the way down the line once again. And yeah, it should look like this. So the next step would be to do the center water stream. So what I'm going to do is collect myself some water before I actually empty this. And then fill this back in just like that. And we'll start from this end again. And basically, I'm going to want to dig out eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and of course, eight. Place down yourself some water there and yourself some water there. And then we'll remove another eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we'll come back to that and we'll go and do the same on the other side. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and of course eight we're gonna place a bucket of water there and of course another bucket of water there let's remove these other eight now and then just go ahead and link it together like that so once you've got your water flowing eight each side like this you can simply go ahead and dig down one more and link them together so all the way to that water stream like this like that and then of course you should have something that looks a little bit like this and at this point, remove that block and remove that block and let this flow all the way down to there. And we're going to do the same with this bit and let that flow down to there. So this is where our center kill chamber stream is going to be. Dig yourself down four blocks like so. Now what we are going to do is basically remove these and place kind of like a sign here so that doesn't flow and like a sign here. Yeah, so simply with this, we're going to place a sign there like so and then a sign on front of that. And then a sign there, and then a sign on front of that. Grab yourself your pickaxe and simply go like that. And it will just push that like that. Same with this side. One and two. And that will just push that like that. Now, of course, we want to go eight more this way to go towards our kill chamber. What I would do so they don't bang their heads is go one more down. So in total, you would have gone three down, two from the signs. And then from here, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, and of course, eight. That's where the water is going to stop. I'm going to remove this so they've got enough headroom. Place a bucket here and a bucket there. And like I said, that's going to stop just there. We're then going to want to go four more blocks, or should I say two, these four, and then remove these like this. This is going to be where our kill chamber is. So that does mean we are going to need some little area to stand in. You don't need that much of an area. And to be fair, we're not even that far away from the ground. So if I build myself a little step up like this. I've just actually came right in the center of my path. I mean, I'll just extend my path a little bit around this way and, you know, make it fit in somehow. I mean, it'll look all right. Just going to clean this up so I've got a nice little bit of headroom myself and I'm going to get to work on the kill chamber. I should mention for the kill chamber, you don't actually need to use magma blocks. You could use yourself a trident killer. This will give you a lot more loot from the mob drops. But if you use magma blocks, you won't have to sort out the loot so you'll only get stuff like i don't know like flesh and bones and gunpowder you won't have to sort out all the treasure loot it's entirely up to you i've only gone for this purely for the fact it's super simple so right here you're going to want your magma blocks let's go ahead and place those down so that's one two three and of course four we're going to need to make ourselves a little bit more room down here like this. So underneath the magma blocks, we're going to want a clear space and then three blocks like that. And also our hopper in the corner going down. This is where our chest is going to be in that section. So let's get our double chest right about now. Place a chest here and a chest there like so. And then of course, because it's underneath the hopper, we can open it. Then let's just fill this in with solid blocks. So we've just got that one space. Now is the important bit. Let's go ahead and grab our hopper minecarts and our rails. We're going to crouch space, go on top of the hopper, and then we're going to crouch and go in that corner. Place one Hopper minecart in the far corner first, and then one minecart in this corner. Then simply link them up with that. 
push this first one like try and get it to go around the corner because you're going to need to try and get a piece on that other corner and if you can't you may need to go around like this this might be the simplest way for you to do that without actually losing your hoppers like that and as soon as you do link them up they will start going crazy and that is our collection system slash kill chamber complete super simple super easy and just to keep them enclosed at the front i'm gonna use trap doors so i'm gonna have a trap door down here that's gonna cover my chest area i'm gonna have a trap door like that so let me remove that in fact i'll put another one there before i remove that move this one and then simply make myself a wall of trap doors so trap door here trap door here trap door there and trap door there there is one final step we need to do before this farm will actually be working we need to go ahead and remove all the torches and make sure all of those gaps like there are filled in all right so i've took the majority of the lights out and as you can see we've already got mobs start to spawn in here now the spider is just like coming to attack me for whatever reason or well, the spider will be able to walk across but can fall down in the middle i'm just gonna fill this up all right and another great help for this farm at night anyway would be to light up any area that's around the farm that does include caves and of course like depending on where you built it because mine's above ground or at least just underneath the ground i'm gonna want to obviously light up the ground so it works really well at night i'm just gonna go around and do that right now all right now we are good to go just throw another torch there throw some torches around here you know just really light up the area to prevent any mobs from spawning and i think i mean it looks pretty bright just over here looks a little bit dark awesome and there we go we've lit everything up let's go see how much loot we've got just whilst we've been waiting and lighting up i mean i did hear a few things dying so we got a skelly oh no a zombie sorry in there at the minute let's have a look in our loot box we got one piece of gunpowder, which is not bad. Seven bones. We got some rotten flesh and string, which, again, is all pretty good, to be fair. The gunpowder's probably the most decent thing. But, as you can see, there is a few mobs that are going to be spawning. But the main reason that I built this here in this location is because this is quite near to my base. I'm working around here all the time, doing little projects and stuff like that. Oh, having this little module down here... I mean, it's just like a little passive mob farm for when I am working in this area. As you can see, we got a creeper and a spider in the uh, kill chamber. Creeper's about to come in. Hopefully, we get a nice piece of gunpowder from that guy. That will be nice. Hopefully, we do anyway. Let's have a look. Fingers crossed. Of course, the rates will be massively increased if you um you know oh damn we got two pieces gg as we're saying the rates would be massively increased if you used a trident killer but for the most part for a super simple mob farm this thing is pretty good to be fair so that's all i've got time for today i will catch you on the next one